certainly we're kind of feeling that like holiday weather outside, Rodney. <laughs> yes, indeed. In fact, great time to get out to a movie, especially tomorrow when those temperatures really start to drop, Lana and Rick. This morning, the upper 40s and low 50s across metro Atlanta, 56 in Atlanta, but 47 in Marietta and Lawrenceville. As we plan your day, most of metro Atlanta will be in the 40s at 7 o'clock this morning under cloudy skies. 61 at lunchtime, 65 as you're picking up the kids from school. You're driving home from work, 62. And if you have dinner plans tonight, 56 degrees. It will be chilly tonight, so as you head out to dinner, you might need that jacket. Cloudy all day today, but it will stay dry. The reason why we are seeing an increase in clouds is because of this low pressure, which is currently in the Gulf of Mexico. It's not a tropical low, but as you can see, it is producing quite a bit of rain. And as this low continues to move eastward, that rain will eventually move north and impact us here in North Georgia. So let's walk you through that hour by hour forecast. Today, it's just an increase in clouds from that low, but no rain yet. However, notice overnight that rain is going to start to move in from the south. It's really more showers than anything else. We're not seeing any yellows or oranges or reds on our map, so at least any oranges and reds. We are seeing a little bit of yellow, but nonetheless, no heavy rain. Uh, from Atlanta southward, just after midnight, we'll see these showers start to move in. So if you have to get to work super early in the morning, know that you will be getting wet, especially south of I-20. And then at 7 o'clock, we're showing scattered showers around Metro Atlanta. Again, this is not heavy, but it will be a bit of a nuisance as you drive to work on Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, most of this rain is south of Metro Atlanta for lunchtime. We do have a lingering rain from like LaGrange to Griffin to Edenton, so you'll see those showers longer. But from Atlanta north, it will be fine at lunchtime. And same story for the afternoon tomorrow. Again, lingering showers mainly south of Metro Atlanta. If you're in Atlanta northward, it is mostly dry in the afternoon and evening. So for planning purposes tomorrow, we are forecasting showers overnight and for your morning commute. Make sure you plan on that. And we're going to be mostly dry from lunch and beyond. Can't rule out a shower or two south of the city, but if you're planning something, you're definitely better off the second part of the day versus tomorrow morning. In terms of our rainfall totals, unfortunately, we're not going to see much. In Metro Atlanta, we're looking at like a trace of rain, half an inch as you go south of I-20, maybe an inch in Troop County, but not a lot of rain. And as you saw on that map, virtually nothing up in the North Georgia mountains and Northwest Georgia, and that's where we need the rain the most. That exceptional drought is still in place from Rome to Canton and LJ, but we'll get another opportunity for rain beyond Wednesday. So let's break down that seven day forecast for today. 65 and cloudy, but staying dry on Wednesday. Only 54 degrees. I want to point that out in the morning. Not only will we see showers, but it'll be cold. So sort of a yucky morning, but drier for Wednesday afternoon. The rain coverage is at 40% and we did drop that first alert for Wednesday since the second half of your day is looking mostly good. Thursday will be mostly dry in 64. Friday is our next opportunity for some showers because of a cold front that's moving through. And if you're in the North Georgia mountains or Northwest Georgia, you have a better chance of rain on Friday for sure. The high is 67. And then as we go into the weekend, great weekend in Metro Atlanta. We'll see plenty of sunshine. Highs will be in the mid 60s. So right about average for this time of year. I will point out that by Sunday morning, our lows will drop into the 40s, like the low 40s in Atlanta. So we're talking the 30s in the suburbs. So you'll feel that different Sunday morning and that will continue into Monday as well.